For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly draw a 2x4, much like the one I drew here. I'll show you how you come up with this quite realistic looking 2x4 without a whole lot of effort. So we'll just delete this one and make another one. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and draw a box. Get that box to be 3.5 by 1.5 is simple enough and then let's just pull this once we get it going rather than try to make it land on eight feet we're just going to type in 96 for 96 inches and then zoom out you can see there's a 96 inch long eight foot long two by four I want it to be laying on the ground not standing up so I'm just going to drop it down this way 90 degrees gives us a two by four and to make it look a little more realistic, let's throw some color on it. We use the bucket tool and let's go with this plywood color. And it's going the right direction. Sometimes the grain's going in opposite direction. Let's see if we can get it to do that by choosing a different texture. Yeah, see this one is going the wrong direction. If that happens to you and it bothers you, just right click that go to the texture selection select position grab the little green handle then you can swing this around and get it lined up on the, the board in the way that you like it to go but we're going to go back and use the plywood color and this is an unedited version of the plywood so the grain's running the wrong direction I'm going to go to texture here, go to position, reposition it by swinging it 90 degrees, dialing it down. That looks decent for the size of the board. And then let's go to edit, make this a little better looking. It's not a green treated board, at least I don't want it to be. So let's just see if we can get this looking like something else. I'm just playing around with these colors a little bit here. Yeah, it's not the worst. It's a little bit there we go and I can now triple click this take the select tab which lights up the little eyedropper I can grab the surface we worked on and then paint it on the rest of the board and that's a decent uh, look to the 2x4 I like to take it a step farther to make end grain look like end grain I hit control the little copy rotate Degrees, texture projected. Triple click this eyedropper. Boom, there we go. We have end grain on the board. To get a fairly cool looking 2x4. Don't need this anymore. And now, if we go to move this 2x4, it stretches and it, it pulls one face at a time and does wanky things. So, in order to make a 2x4 stay together we're just triple clicking and then right clicking to make it a group. And now when we go to move it or rotate it, it stays together which is what we want for getting these things to behave. With that, a pretty simple set of steps. You can draw a great looking lumber and then use it for building things which we'll do in a minute. So now that you have a 2x4 and know how to draw one, uh, with SketchUp, the nice thing is once we have a 2x4 as a group, you don't need to redraw anything. You can just take this one group and multiply it to make whatever you want. So let's, uh, let's just make a small square structure with this, plates and studs and so forth, so you can get an idea of how to manipulate the lumber into something uh, a project you may be planning so I've got the rotate tool here not to be confused with the protractor and when I hit control and rotate it will rotate a copy of the lumber of the piece which is kind of a nice thing and then we can move and hit control and quickly come up with 
let's call these wall plates like that. That's simple enough. I'm going to group these. So I'm going to go Control C to copy up one of those. Select this, make it a group. So now we have a group of groups. And we're going to move this up. Get it going in a blue direction and go 96, enter. That sets it eight feet in the air. We're going to move and copy again. And that gives us some plates. This isn't necessarily proper carpentry because the corners aren't staggered, but that's okay. And because we control C to copy one of our two by fours, now I can go up to edit and say paste in place and it pastes that copy right where it was when I copied it. So we can take the rotate tool on the two by four, get it in the red direction and tip that guy up 90 degrees and so all of a sudden we have a 2x4 that's in place. And uh, somehow I got that height off, but that's actually a good thing. Because what I want to do is um, click this, I'm going to right click it and explode it. And right click it again, I'm going to make it a component. And let's call this a wall stud. So we created one of those. and. The nice thing about that is, or what I was hoping to show there, is that we took a group and turned it into a component. We just exploded it and made it a component. So it'll behave differently as uh, differently than a group. It has some added features. But if we were framing this little square building, we'd probably put some studs 16 inches on center. So I took move, hit control. I'm just going to type 16 enter, and then I'm going to go 10x enter. And you can see it quickly whips out these extra studs and we can just throw those out because this is SketchUp and move this guy into place on the corner. And then if we take these and make these, a, put these components into a group just to get you thinking about how to use this stuff. So now we have components inside a group. If I right click on this and get the entity info dialog it tells me that's a solid component. There's eight in the model. If I click out of here and click this, then we have a group. There's one group in the model. So I'm going to go back into the group and select all the components and move and copy those so we can put these studs on the other side of the wall here. And while those are still selected, I'm going to grab the rotate tool, hit control, and let's see, we want to pivot these around. I think this is the corner I want right here. I'm holding shift to keep it in the blue direction. There we go. So we swing these guys around 90 degrees. Huh, look at that, it actually lined up. That's not too bad. Those are still selected, so I'm hitting move and control again. Grabbing this corner over here, sliding it out until it fits there. And all of a sudden, we've got all these studs and plates and walls all because we drew one two by four and the cool part about this is I don't because these are components I don't have to go and change every single group I can just pick any one of these two by fours anywhere in here take the push pull tool and just shrink this down and it changes all our two by four stud components to be the same length if we do that with one of the plates because they're only a group, if we go to change one of those, it just changes the one we're working on. So that's the difference. Let's take the back key and put that like we want it. So I hope that that gives you an idea how to build with bytes before boards using simple framing lumber and some uh, taking advantage of SketchUp's features. Turn a little sun on here and make it look like a cool little building.